Armas got me vibing. Take care of that shit. That's what we thought. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah. Nigga, when, when, when do we ever talk about life? Then? <laughs> <laughs> that would have to be Chris. Hey, y'all like Take care of y'all like that. Take care of 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 that. Debut, debut for number one and two. Shit. Peace back this week, too, eh? Yes, sir. First day back, out here a little work, practice the day walk through. Everything was crisp and sharp, man. Coach said we had to get better, man. He challenged us as a defense. We had some MEs, too many as a defense, and we're just gonna get better. So, quick turnaround, quick week. Game earlier this week, I play on Saturday, and we play at 11 Central Time, so we, we gonna be ready, for sure. But just finish walk throughs. Finish the lift, finna head and do some extra meetings, and then recovery. Finna get, go back and get the body right, make something straight. So keep pushing, man, and have a great week. Press 
<laughs> I know what time it is. It's Kyle Pratt work. And then head to the spa. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? Feel like a big release of pressure? I needed that. Yes, sir, you did. Let me check your hands and wrists. Yeah. Go ahead and stand up. Everything's optimized. All right, man. Anything else you want me to check? That's good. Rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great practice today. All around, man. Everybody was locked in. Great practice today. We ready. Fine tune. You know, we fine tune everything we needed to fine tune. Coach took care of us, man. We have, you know, walkthroughs the last two days. And today, man, we came out full speed. Everybody was sharp. I felt like we was on point, like where we need to be. So um, can't wait to play this weekend. Tomorrow's travel day. I'm about to go do some recovery stuff, man. First, I'm finna go back up to the facility in the training room, get some needles. So, um, to release, you know, the tension in my, my hip, my hip a little bit, and then my glute, and, you know, and down my leg. So, release some of that tension in my leg, so I'll be good to go. And then, I'm gonna hit Glow Spa today. I wasn't able to do it yesterday. I had forgot my little bag, so I wasn't able to go yesterday, but I'm definitely gonna go today, you know. Um, get some of that recovery going but the key right now is to hydrate and you know get off my legs as much as possible um you know travel day like i said travel day is tomorrow i'm supposed to hang with the gang 
all the DBs tomorrow, man. We're supposed to get together, go eat. So, yeah, man. So be on the lookout for that. But it, it's, it's been a great day so far. She hurt me, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. She did it. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and knock out the rest of this recovery. Head to the crib and take a nap. Love hate relationship with this thing. Ain't nothing like some Madden before you leave for a football game. Oh wow! He dropped the whole one. Got that boy. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I'm gonna play 
outside. I see you. Oh, tight end. <clears throat> 33 seconds left in the game. 33 seconds left in the game. Can he do it? Can he put together a crazy drop to get a dub? Throw it away, throw it away. 27 seconds left on the clock, baby. 27 seconds left on the clock, baby. Oh, we got the edge. We got the edge. Uh, no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Got to play a two-minute defense, man. 23 seconds left on the clock. 17-13. They got to score a touchdown. They got all their time out. And I ain't playing no game, so we finna put it. We putting quarter on the field. And we manning up the whole drive. We manning up the whole Oh y'all, oh y'all, can't take no set. We can't take no set. We own that. We own that. We own that. We own that. Let's go. Pick. Let's go. It's over with. Send him home. Send him home. Send him home. Send him home. I don't know how I did that. I got the corner. Oh. Cut back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tutty. 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 I'm going for two. I'm going to make you win hurt. Oh, good time. Let's go. I told you we had a duck. I'm going onside kick. I'm going onside kick. I don't respect this boy. I don't respect this goofy. I mm. Four seconds. What are you going to do? We manning up again. We manning up again. We manning up again. <laughs> he caught that. Jeez. Now I get to get ready to get up out of here.
reach down the unstoppable and watch that As BJC Health believes that you deserve extraordinary care. Learn more at bjc.org slash deserve. Chili motherfucker, real Chris. Hey, she says, oh, he be chili. Yeah. 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 This is what I eat. You shouldn't have that money. Oh, this is sticking to my bones. He's trying to go in the game with him. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you say, Keith? That bit was great. Man. Go ahead, go ahead, coach. Clay Burner. All right, so I'm up today. Um, Clay. Switch it up a little bit. Um, I know we always show film, but I was trying to tell my guys, trying to brief them this week. I wanted to talk about what some other things. So this is one of the quotes that I believe in. I talk about everywhere I go. When I've won championships, this is what it gets down to, right? Champions are not champions because they do anything extraordinary, but because they do things better than anyone else. So Chuck Noll is a Hall of Fame coach from the Steelers, right? It ain't super talent, right? There's been some super talented teams. We've all been on super talented teams. They ain't always won. But who does the shit right consistently? Who does everything right every day? So not just game, but practice. Right, so we watch practice at times, and this week we talked about it. Are you working your craft? When you're away from the ball, and you're the corner, and you're supposed to get off the block, are you working on getting off the block and pursuing, or are you shutting it down? Right, because I said, we in game four. So for the secondary, you guys, are a lot of y'all new, man. So y'all starting to get into your groove. Now it's time to roll. Right? So I, that's my mindset. My guys, I tell them, I'm harder on them. Why? They've been here. This is our second year, so we're supposed to be taking it to a new level, right? D-line, y'all got newer guys, right? But there's guys that have been here. So guys that have been here should be doing the shit that we're supposed to be doing right. Right? Leading ain't always talking and running your fucking mouth. It's how you play. Right? How you're respected. Right? So this is a, my thing. Purpose. What's your purpose? Every day that you show up for the game, every day that you show up for practice, What's your purpose? Purpose is something set up as an object or end to attain intention. What's your intention? Or when you work in the drills, are you doing it with an intention to get better at it? Are you doing it just to be doing it? Oh, that's just what we do every day, right? If I'm backpedaling, am I working on my backpedal? If I'm working on cutting or planting, what am I doing? Am I doing it with an intention to get better at it, right? Because it ain't something that just happens because everybody can't play this sport. Y'all are one of the few. So that shit makes it special. But sometimes as athletes, we forget how special we are to be in what we are. And there's always somebody behind us trying to do the same shit we do, right? <laughs> always somebody behind us, right? So I said, ask yourself, what's your intentions, right? On being the team, a team on this team and on the defense. What's your intentions every day? Are you just happy to be on the team, on the defense? Are you trying to lead? Are you trying to help? What's your fucking intentions, right? Are you maximizing your opportunity to get yourself ready for the next opportunity in drills or during practice? 
So everybody want to go to the league, right? We always talk about it in our room, getting to the league. So everything that I push on them, and as hard as I am on them, is about getting them to the league, right? But in order to get to the league, what do you have to do here? You got to dominate this. So you can't look ahead until you handle your business here, right? So that's, that's the thing. A Thursday practice or Saturday practice in the league or Friday practice in the league, you got to be on point, dog. You can't get beat on the fade. You can't fuck up a, a, a coverage. Shit got to be on point. Why? Business is on the line. Jobs are on the line. Your job is on the line. Have y'all been one of those guys that come in on a Wednesday working out for the team? And the motherfuckers in the room is looking out the door trying to see what position it is? That's real. That's real, dog. And you got to figure out who you're going to be in that scenario. Who are you going to be? Are you going to be the guy worried? Are you going to be the guy, hey, I'm going to get on this team and take his spot? Because that's what it gets down to, right? Could you tell your people, the people you love, that you're doing your best to provide for them? I got a family. Coach got a family. Coach, got, Coach Bennett's got a family. Coach got a family. He got kids in college. College, right? Coach got kids in college. So you think we're doing this just for fun? No. So it's two things. We love coaching, right, and producing a product, and you want to be able to help yourself get to a higher level. There ain't no lie in that. Coach Bettis has been at the top, right? I want to get to there. I want to get to that position. Coach want to be a head coach. Coach probably want DC. You want to be a DC? We all want an aspiration for everything. But the only way it really shows itself is in the product that you put on the field. So when we getting on you and we holding you to a standard, it ain't just about us. It's about both of us. Your success is my success. That's how that shit goes. Your success is my success. So I'm going to push you at any means possible to get you to where you need to get to, right? Are you taking the culture in the field and applying it? That's the shit you got to ask yourself. When you watch film, are you taking what we're telling you and applying it? Because all you're going to do if you're not doing it here and say you so happen to slip through to the next level, that coach is going to expect you to do shit that he says. And every defense, there's certain things that are done in the defense for a reason. The, 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 the technique that is used in the defense is used in the defense for a reason. So if you're not applying that to your game, you're messing the defense up. Never going to work. Okay? What's your process? I don't know what everybody's process is. But this is a process I've always learned as a player. So if you want to use this process, take it. I'll give it to you. But it's no secret to this shit, right? Am I lined up right? What's my assignment? Technique. Am I using my technique? My reads. Where's my reads? Where do I got to look at now? Am I finishing? Am I finishing the play? And you guys can see that yourself. It don't take a grade from us to tell you that, we do it because that's part of the job, but you should be able to see that every time you play. Am I doing these things? That's an every coach's thing when they gotta talk about. Because that's how you get from the start of a play to the end of a play. Be great in your intentions. Who cares what you did three weeks ago? But what are you gonna do forward? What are you moving forward? How are we gonna work about it as a defense moving forward? Right? Are we going to really go after the ball? We talked about going to the ball. I went back, dog. I went back all the way to the beginning of the camp. Looked at some things. I'm like, damn, we didn't go after the ball like we were supposed to. We didn't go through the drill like we were supposed to. The drill wasn't, the intentions of the drill wasn't like it was supposed to. And I didn't put it in here, but that in my mind, I was looking, I was like, fuck, that's on me. On my part, I should have pushed it harder. Should have said, fuck that, start over. Because the intentions now is to get these turnovers and it don't happen. You gotta work at it every fucking day. Every day, you gotta believe it, right? The start of your intentions, right, is your drills on the field. So like we said, when we start to practice and Coach Bears, I have a kid of uh, 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 somebody going to get the ball high and he throws the ball high. Are you going to get it at its highest point? You know what I'm saying? And then when the game comes, it becomes natural. It ain't nothing new. People that can't shoot free throws, can't shoot free throws, but everybody can shoot a damn layup. Why? You practice that shit. You practice that shit over and over and again. 
And when you're young, you can only go off the right side. Then as you get better, you can go off the left side. Why? It takes practice. But are you practicing? If I'm weak on my right side, am I working my right side? If I'm weak on my left, am I working my left side? How am I going to get myself better? So these are the drills, right? These are the drills. Oh, good day.
Playing the sports, cause this stuff is turning out like that. The bitch right at me, I don't write back. She trying to eat me for a white snake. But I'm trying to talk to them green bags. Yeah, it's just cutting that ass down. It's in that white snake, but I done had that. If she ain't put a catch in a trap set, then we oh, oh, oh. That's how you start separating yourself. You stack the W's. Hey, great to see some new players pop in. PZ, where you at? Yeah. 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 Jacob Sellers, where you at? Yeah. Listen, hell of a job, man. Across the board, that's a nice win, man. At home in front of the fan base. All right, that's three in a row. We're starting to separate ourselves, man. I'm proud of each and every one of you guys. All right, hey, we're off tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Hey. We're a light, we're a light day. Oh. Oh. What? We got it. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> we're off two days. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen. Enjoy, enjoy the victory, guys. Let's get locked and loaded, right? Championship mentality. Hold each other accountable. All right, be safe, be smart, and let's get ready. We got DC next week now. Fuck All right, we got DC next week. I didn't say that. We got DC next week. Let's get our son our mind. Help us out. Break us down. Let's go. We won the third floor, baby. We won the third floor, baby. We got the training room. We won the training room. Break us down, baby. Break us down. Hey, 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 Hey man, I love y'all boys, man. We doing this shit, man. Big shit on three, man. One, two, three. Big shit. Big time. 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 Ready, ready, ready. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God is kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. What you say, Q? Big dog vibes, man. Come on. We stacking this shit. Hey, glory to God, baby. We gotta put a statement. Glory to God. Yeah, we the fans. Damn it, CPJ. Come on. <laughs> I'm a big weed.